Yeah, check out this day. It's looking really awesome. So I'm going to get the dinghy and head over to the other island and see what we're up against. Welcome back to All The Stars Sailing. Join me this week as I sail and dive my way north to Cairns, where I'm going to meet Rach. This side of the island here is Marine Park, so it's a no-take zone. I'm expecting the coral to be pretty colourful down here just based on the colours that we're looking at in the background. Okay, so that was pretty impressive. There was lots of sponge gardens, soft corals that have sort of grown over some older, died off coral, but um, some really, really healthy corals as well, which I found just great to find. It's such a pleasure to find a really healthy reef and just all the fish life and diversity you see with the different corals. So yeah, really stoked about today. Couldn't have asked for better conditions. Time to make the trek back to the boat, five and a half nautical miles from the dinghy across to all the stars. So I had a great little dive just around the corner there. The visibility was a lot better than what it looked like yesterday. So I jumped in, got a quick bit of footage. Um, but as I'm motoring around the corner here to get to the northern tip of Orpheus Island to try another dive location, um, motoring along on the plane and I hear a loud or feel a sort of thud. I thought I'd hit a turtle. But I pulled up and I'll just have a look at the prop. Check out this. Obviously uh, managed to get a dose of my own polluting effect on the planet um obviously a bit of plastic around the ocean so that that could have uh potentially clogged up the intake there the water intake and um give me an overheated motor if i hadn't have stopped so i'm glad i did anyway keep on going get around the corner there i just found this nice little beach on the way back might see if i can get ashore and have a bit of a walk around It's a shady spot. I don't know a great deal about Nautilus, but I do know that they're a cephalopod, which is squids are a member of the cephalopod family, meaning uh, cephala meaning head and foot meaning pod, so it's a head foot in Latin. Yeah, so basically the animal lives in this shell and grows the shell as it's traversing the oceans, and the way they they make distance is by adjusting their buoyancy in the water column. There's a tiny little hole inside one of these chambers and they can trap air, therefore pick up the right current to get to where they're going. They can propel themselves a little bit, but um, not, nowhere near as quickly as an ocean current can. So they obviously got an internal GPS in there somewhere. But uh, this, this is a very beautiful shell and being a national park, I can't take it. So I'm gonna put it back where I found it, but yeah. Very impressive. Pretty much sailing herself since the wind picked up from about eight o'clock. So I've only had sort of eight to ten knots, which has been good, but uh, the wind angle has been perfect for the autopilot. And now I'm just starting to get a little bit wind more straight behind us, so the head sail's starting to luff. 
and collapse, so I'm probably going to have to um, pull that out or, or change tack. So, um, it is really impressive looking at those really big mountain ranges so close to the coast, which is what northern Queensland is so famous for. Rainforest meeting the sea. About three quarters of Denara out on the pole there. And it's bumped our speed up above six knots. So pretty happy with that. And the boat is very well balanced. It's just steering itself on autopilot. Very little swell around, so really, we should be at Fitzroy Island about three hours ahead of schedule. Um, we're anchored up here at Mission Bay and it's just um, not far from low tide and I'm in three metres of water so it's pretty shallow. I'm trying to get in as close as I can into the corner here to get out of the, um, the wind chop that's coming across the bay. There's no swell rolling in from, from around the point but there is um, quite a developed sort of wind chop coming across the, the Mission Bay area and it's putting a lot of strain on the snubber. The boat's sort of swinging back and forth. But, you know, we'll stick with it. We'll see how we go. It'll be good to get a night's rest here and then be able to make it into Cairns Harbour tomorrow morning with a fresh start and a bit less wind. It'd be nice. That's when I'll be meeting up with the lovely, long-awaited Rachel. I'm sure plenty of, plenty of our viewers will be uh, glad to see her back on board. Tied up. I'm just heading up to meet Rach now. She's getting on a bus, so I can't wait to see her. Pretty excited. It's actually no sign of it yet. There she is. Spotted her. What do you think, Rach? Have the old band back together. The gang! All the stars, original crew. The gang, back together again. Woo. <laughs> Jump on board next week as we sail and explore the islands and reefs around Cairns. If you're enjoying our videos, Please subscribe and give us a like so we can keep you updated. My